Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? I got an email the other day from a new TIG welder. And he said, Kevin, I'm doing okay with steel, I think, in quotation marks. <laughs> but he said, I'm having a lot of trouble knowing when to start feeding the puddle with aluminum. But let me try to show you what I see when I'm looking through the helmet. So where it's steel, you got a puddle. And you got your, you know, sitting out here is your tungsten. And when you look down there and you start that, you start your arc, where you're going to try to weld these two pieces of metal together, you're going to see that, that gray metal go through color changes. You're going to see, uh, you're going to see gray, then you're going to see orange, and then you're finally going to see it go to red. And if you keep pushing it, <laughs> then you see it go to white, and that's when it falls through. But you can see those colors. That's a real easy way to see when you got to fit, when you got to start dabbing with the filler, when you might have to back off on the foot pedal, when you increase your forward speed. But now when you're doing aluminum, what I see when I start my arc, and you're looking at that silver aluminum down there, it stays silver, it stays silver. You give it a little more pedal, it stays silver. You give it just a little more pedal, and what I see is all of a sudden you'll start to see these little pock marks in there that are starting to look a little liquid, a little shiny. You're not ready yet. Don't feed yet. Give it a little more pedal, and all of a sudden those pock marks are going to start to gather into one another. Not yet. A little more pedal. All of a sudden everything goes shiny. Now you feed. Now it's off to the races. Now you got to keep up. Because once you get that hot, now it's starting to spread out through your metal. It's starting to travel forward the way your torch is facing, where you're going this way with it. Feed it. Feed, 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 go, run. You know, that's the whole thing with aluminum. When you got it started, you got to keep up with it. If you go too slow, all of a sudden, it falls through. And you won't get the warning. You won't, you know, not, not normally. You know, every now and again, you'll see it start to sag just a little bit. But if you're working with a tiny, tiny little bead, all of a sudden, black, you got a big old hole you got to go back and fill. With steel, I feed right there at the red. As Soon as you see that puddle go to red, get on it, start feeding, start going. Don't ever let it get to the white, because down it's going to go. So let's go back to the bench. We'll put your helmet on, and I'll try to show you that on the, on the metal itself. Well, you see, if you look right there, you can see that nice shiny puddle just starting. Push on that pedal just a little bit more. Boy, you can see a big liquid puddle. Now it's time to go ahead and feed. But you see, now the thing with the steel is, boy, the minute you put any amperage to it, it, ought to, it puddles up really nice. So you can just go ahead and start feeding. So there you have it. The steel bead, you know, the aluminum bead. Hopefully you can see what I see. I'm going to get back to work. You guys are going to check me out on Facebook. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. I'll see you next time. Just like Nandy. <laughs>